Hello world of YouTube and welcome back Milk Maniacs to my channel. I am doing a bonus video today. I did part three of how to wash toys with hair earlier and I figured why not wash some more toys since I have everything out. So I figured let's watch some action figures, some good old boys toys. So without further ado, let the intro roll and let's begin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, let's dig on in. So earlier I did do another video on how to wash toys with doll hair, pony hair, troll hair. Um, so definitely check that out. And um, I decided to hide all this stuff out so I might as well go ahead and pump out another video for you guys. Get you some more content and get you some more stuff to wash and learn some new tips and tricks. So right over here I have um, a variety of different toys boys toys mostly I have one of my little favorite toy lines even though I knew nothing about it at the time when I was growing up I just found them on my Facebook toy groups the street sharks and I believe our early 90s toy 95 um, cartoon and then of course they made a lot of toys based off them and I just think they're like super odd cute weird whatever I mean I just think they're awesome so, as of right now, I have three in my collection, and um, two need to be washed. I've been meaning to wash them for a while. And if you guys know me, and most of you do, know I'm very, very, very meticulous about my toys, and I like them to be in great shape, and these are in awesome shape. The paint, I mean, hardly nowhere. Usually, you get these with the teeth. The teeth, the, the white paint on the teeth is all missing or mostly missing um, this one's in just awesome awesome condition guys and he's a 95 street shark and he is just in great great shape and he's this little rollerblader guy so he just oh look at that dun 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 awesome so there he is he's a pretty cool guy so these, you know, obviously have metal and stuff in them, so I don't soak them for long. I don't soak them overnight or anything crazy like that because we don't want to get anything rusty. So what we're going to do, we're just going to give him a dip. And he's going to gonna take a dip in the hot tub. Hot tub. He's going to take a little dip. Alright. And so I have one more street shark who is awesome. Damn awesome. awesome. He's a little hammerhead who transforms into a car. So it's pretty cool. Transform him into a car. And then he just rolls. And he's a pretty cool car. You flip his head up. And there he is. Car mode. I'm pretty sure he's also a 95. Markings on here somewhere. But he's pretty cool. He changes into a car and then he changes back and then he can stand on his own. So it's pretty cool. And his paint is in awesome, awesome condition, guys. His paint's in great condition. I mean, I got a steal on these two for the condition they're in and for the price that they go for. So he's going to take himself a little dumb, a little dumb Okay, so I'm just going to put two of these in the tub at a time because they're pretty big, filling up my tub. So, if you watched my previous videos, you know about my cleaning arsenal over here, of which varies. I have a lots of stuff. So, if you want to know what's in this tub, if you don't know already, is laundry detergent, laundry sanitizer to sanitize the toys, and some baking soda. I actually put some baking soda in because I was washing toys with hair, and baking soda is good for the hair. In case you did not know that, you could put one teaspoon of baking soda in your shampoo once a week and it's good for your hair. So that means it's also good for these toys. So I'm actually going to put a little bit more baking soda in here only because we're washing some action figures and it's good for whitening and stuff like that too. And these guys have some teeth that I want to make sure are nice and white. 
and you guys also know I use my whisk, which I did forget to whisk up before I threw them in. So we're gonna take them out real quick. We'll give the water a whiskey. This is just to agitate the water up and the bubbles and to mix the chemicals and all that good stuff. We'll throw them back in. Come off of the whiskey. And as you see, I have combs, brushes, and of course my toothbrushes that I use. And I'll be using one of these. These are children's toothbrushes with ridges. That's the best kind to have, soft toothbrush. And of course, you know I have my magic erasers, which I already have one in the tub here. Now, I also use this stuff, OxyClean Spray, Shout Action Gel. And I didn't use these earlier because I didn't need them, but I am going to need these on these action figures. So what I want to do is, let's grab one. We don't want to let them soak for too long, unless they were like super filthy, which they're not. So he's showing all his teeth, all his pearly whites. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 So we're gonna spray. I want to spray his teeth really good. Then I want to take a toothbrush, get the toothbrush wet, and then we want to brush his teeth. Look at that, brushing my teeth. Brushing my teeth like a good good. I'm just gonna brush his teeth because I want to get that chemical that oxyclean in his teeth and we don't want to go too hard we don't want to go too hardcore with these it's this brush actually has some troll hair on it from earlier clean some of that out so now we can keep brushing his teeth brush his tongue inside there and if you use the oxyclean obviously I, I like to use it all over but I do mostly like to concentrate on any of the white areas with the oxy cleaner spray so his eyes his little beady eyes we want to scrub them we want to scrub his teeth we can get in the back here get on on his looks and crannies scrub his little bum bum scrub the bottom of the toy get back to his teeth just give it a little scrub we can take a magic eraser which i know this is safe on remember guys if you're going to use a magic eraser on your toys you should always do a little test area first definitely test 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 before just going right on in but you're learning the hard way like i did but these i know are really safe for the magic eraser so we're just going to get in there like i said guys this toy doesn't need major help it wasn't filthy wasn't dirty not even really dusty could just use definitely a cleaning to spruce them up but nothing major teeth look really good and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a little scrubbing again get his hands get him a little dip and look he's already looking pretty darn snazzy look at my chompers he's already cute I love these little guys. I never really knew about them when I was growing up. But then again, in 95, I was a teenager. I wasn't really collecting toys at that age. Um, I just happened to like them when I see them around. They just look pretty cool. So, yeah, we get in the nooks and crannies with the toothbrush. And then we'll just give them a little rinse roo Because... I think he's pretty much done. Let's just give him a rinsey poo. You don't want to let these things soak too long, like I said, because of the metal components inside of them. So he's fine. All right. All righty, guys. Give him a little shake. Let excess water off of him. Don't want to leave too much excess water on him. And I'm going to put him on the white towel that's behind the camera here so he can dry off. Okay, let's get to Mr. Car Dude. I have no idea, guys, what these names are of these toys. I have none. No idea. So let's put some OxyClean on his teeth again. A little bit on him. 
and let's rub that in. Now sometimes, guys, what I like to do, so let's say if this toy was really, really bad, I would rub the OxyClean in with the toothbrush or scrub it in, and then I would let them sit. I would put them onto the side here on my white towel, and then I would just let them sit in the OxyClean for a little bit, um, depending on how bad it was. And like I said, I especially like to concentrate the OxyClean on the white areas of the toy. So really all he's got is his eyes that are white, little beady eyes, and of course his teeth. So like I said, he's not too bad. Just get some OxyClean all over him here. Get into his nooks and crannies. And then actually, I think I am going to put him to the side for a second. Get his rims, because he's got some nice little rims on his tires. I'm going to put him to the side and let the OxyClean get in a little bit more on his teeth. His teeth um, look good, but not as good as the other one I just did. So we'll just let him soak for a couple minutes. And the OxyClean will put him to the side. So next up... I have guys is some turtle trolls or not turtle trolls oh my god I collect turtle trolls but not turtle trolls some um, battle trolls so I have the football battle troll guy and then I have the ninjutsu ninjutsu ninji ninji guy he's in a he's pretty rough condition you see that hair that hair is a hot mess and then I have Knight in Shining Armor Battle Troll. And he's pretty cute. His hair is also a mess. So those are my three Battle Trolls. And we're definitely what I'm going to do is definitely wash one on camera for you guys so you can see how it's clean. And I'm going to wash the worst one, this guy. So if you watch my video part three... I taught you how to clean toys with troll hair. We want to be careful with these toys. We just don't want to dip them, let them submerge, let them sit, because the troll hair is attached by glue. And we do not want to get that glue all loosey-goosey and coming apart. So we definitely don't want that. But he's definitely dirty. He's dusty and he's everything. So I may have to let him soak um, a little while longer. Usually I'll just do a quick dip and that's it. But not for this guy. This guy is pretty filthy. I'm going to let him just stay just a little bit, not long. So I'm going to get wet in a little hot tub here. Get that dust off of him. Get that dirt. Now look at him. Going to get the magic eraser to him. To his plastic body. Vinyl, whatever it is. Let's wash that and then his hair. I don't want to get too much in there, but he definitely has some kind of nastiness in the hair. So I'm going to use my toothbrush to clean that. Slick back so we don't definitely, like I said, don't want to let that, that hair soak so I won't be getting it wet again except to rinse it off. But right now, we're just going to act like we're washing it and use the toothbrush to do so. And we can also wash his face and body as well with the toothbrush. And we'll put a little bit of OxyClean because he's showing some white in his teeth there. See a little grin? So we'll brush his little teethers. Teethers! Get them all nice and pearly white. Dig into the rest of the body. And then like I said guys, I might his hair again and use this magic eraser on him. Alright, so his body's looking pretty good now. Definitely better than what it was looking. Either for not dusty and filthy, 
get back to the hair. So we're going to rinse this off, see what it looks like, then see if it maybe needs another treatment or hopefully not because I don't not like to get this hair too wet. Alright, so let's give him a rinse. Let's see what he looks like. His body looks great. He does have some paint rubs on him. Um, but that's no big deal. We'll squeeze his hair. Get it squeezed as much as possible without pulling the hair out. Okay, now look, there he is. There he is with his hair all done. Now I'm going to let his hair dry a little bit, but I also want to see how the mess came out of his hair that was here. Still see something there. I don't see any goop though. What do you think, guys? Let me know what you think in the comments. Does he look good or what? So, let's brush his hair. He definitely still has some, if you see that, guys, some dirt stains right around this area. Oh dear. And he has some lint in his hair, I can see. See that? The little black things right there. Lint. Trial hair is not the best to be washing, guys. I am going to have to give him another dunk, though. I hate to do it. Try not. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to submerge him all the way. I'm just going to submerge mostly the hair, but not the head or scalp area where the glue is at. Because I don't want to get that glue too wet to be messing with so I'm just going to stick them give them a little uh, rinsey upside down here in the clean water while using the brush a little bit and maybe get that stuff out that's in there ah, it's looking better guys looking better There you go. What do you think? So let's just give it a rinse. And then now let's give it a squeeze. A nice little squeeze here. And now guys, I think I'm just gonna let them sit on the white towel. It still has just a little, but it's definitely better. I don't wanna keep doing them. I don't want to mess him up. But I'm going to let him sit on a white towel, dry off, shake his hair a little bit more. I might even, guys, take him outside and um, let him sit on the deck a little bit um, and let him dry off that way. His hair dry quicker and everything. Um, I do that to some of my toys. To air dry them like if I'm doing plush or something like that or some toys need some sun uh, maybe I want to sun whiten them if I have a white toy that was dingy I want to lay them at sun fade them basically that's what you call it sun fading the toy um, but yeah for him I might stick him outside to dry off quicker that way he's not sitting in all that water in his hair for a longer time than I want him to be so Let's say bye-bye. We'll see you in an after picture and see exactly what you look like when you're all done. Bye! Okay, he's on the white towel. Next up, guys, is I have some California raisins here. Some big ones. Big, big bendy. Big bendy raisins here. I love the California raisins. I love the cartoons, the clay animation. Um, the, I like if you ever watch the 80s Christmas special, you know, where they're playing the music and all that. The 80s Christmas special is just awesome. And um, I do collect these. I have them in the small PVCs, the medium PVCs, and then I have these big things. 
I would like to get some of the plush if I can find them in like good condition. And then I'll be getting some of the bigger plushy ones. But I have three of these. And um, they're all in various condition. They don't look too bad. Um, they have some paint rubs and a little bit of issues. Some marks or scuffs. But we're going to take one. We're actually going to take off. We're going to dip them off. We'll go ahead and dip them on. Then I just wash one on camera. So I don't bore you too much. No, 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 no. Alright, don't let me uh don't let me break your ears, guys. So there we go. We have three raisins in the tub. And then these, since they do have a lot of white on their hands and feet, I'm definitely gonna spray some OxyClean on them. And um, I might even let them sit in OxyClean a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now. I'm just going to take the magic eraser to them. There really is nothing special to do to these guys except for getting some OxyClean on them and rubbing that in. We can just use some magic eraser. And since they're all plastic or bendies, I don't really have to worry about how long they soak or rushing to get them out of the tub because I don't want them sitting. So they're fine. And they're pretty cool. They bend in different ways. What up? Let's see. Here's the other one. This one's awesome. He's just a cool dude. Look at him. What up? Alright, so what I'm going to do with these guys, I just let them soak for a little bit. Then I'm going to put some OxyClean and rub that into the white. Use a little bit of Magic Eraser. Rinse them off. And then these guys should be good to go. So I will show you after picture of all these that I've done in this short little vid here today, guys. Except for maybe the two little battle trolls. I may or may not get to them, but there you go. So we're just going to let these guys sit and chill. <laughs> For today's video guys um, thank you so much for tuning in and it has been a pleasure as always and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and help a sister out with her new toy channel so when you guys got any questions or comments input videos that you want to see next always drop them below and um, I'll see you on the next one Meche like leche out <laughs>